six months now that a price has been on my head. 23 failed attempts and a few collateral victims. Despite it all, they're not letting up. They're sticking to their guns, waiting for my funeral. Not one has given up, no truce, no respite. The troops are motivated. The last ones who tried were real enthusiasts. Trigger-happy homicide junkies. Holy men in a crusade of murderous revenge. What will I serve you, handsome? A beer. At first sight, it could be fun to mess with these mental cases. Beer? But it wouldn't last forever. Sooner or later, I'd catch one turning into some dark alley or simply a sleeping bed. That's why I came here to the docks. It's a good place to hide out. This is where I was born. This is where I learned life. This is home, or at least it used to be. No one will bother me here. Here is your beer, and this is for you. From some guy. Some guy? What guy? You're looking a little tense there, Carrot Top. What guy? Don't worry about it. Your buddy, he took off already. What did he look like? Like every other jackass I serve every day. This is Saul. Some people call him my snitch, but I just call him my buddy. If it weren't for Saul, the buzzard would have picked my sorry ass apart years ago. He's there when I need him. Saul's always got my back. What's your problem? You need a vacation? Huh? Tell me. What the hell are you doing here? How did you... What am I doing here? Are you kidding me? This morning, I went to your house and knocked on your door. Nobody home. I yelled, I hollered, you weren't there. Mr. Red Johnson just flew off without telling me. No, man, couldn't you just call, leave a message, you know, keep me in the loop? Saul, so, I'm hiding out. That's how it works. You hiding? You? From what? From who? From me? Shit, man, that's the first time in 10 years you don't owe me money. What do you got to hide from? There's a price on my head. It's as simple as that. Oh, I see. Some dudes want to get at you, huh? <laughs> that's quite a, what's the word? Uh, vexatious? Vexatious, indeed. All right, all right, all right, man. Your bro is here. Don't worry, I know you. Ever since you lost your mom, you don't know how things work no more. Now I'm here. It's under control. So don't you worry, I'm here, bro. Okay? Thanks, Saul. I could use your help, that's for sure. You can count on me.
this. And I really wouldn't want to be the guy who sent it to me. So, how did it all start? With a goddamn finger in my beer. I could have just thrown it in the gutter and been on my way, but oh no. The only thing I could find to occupy my time was to figure out who it belonged to. Some people take up knitting. I tracked down the owners of severed appendages. This little piece of meat was the source of the biggest shitstorm I've ever seen. And take it from me, I'd know. I'm a frickin' shit trap. Good job, Karatov. I saw that one. You really kicked that beer's ass. You're absolutely right. Don't let yourself get pushed around. You showed that beer who's the man. The beer was poisoned, and it came with the package. A package that contained a human finger. If I remember correctly, you're the one who served them to me. That's right. The finger and the beer, that's our house specialty. It's what sets us apart from the competition, you know. But the poison, that was me. My bad. See? I don't like redheads, so I poisoned them. Somebody tried to kill me right here in your establishment. You think that's funny? Hey, this is Metropolis. It's like that on any street corner. You're not dead as far as I can tell. What is the big deal? Oh, I get it. You're scared? You need to be consoled. Come pick me up after my shift. AB knows how to make the pain go away. On ira chez moi faire un gros câlin. Thanks. But a description of the guy who gave you the package will do. Wouldn't we be better off in bed coming up with a facial composite? What's your problem? Too bad. You don't know what you're missing. Your body is medium height, not fat, not skinny, regular hair. About as normal a face as there is wearing dark workers' clothes. Will that be all? Well, that really narrows it down. If you see our man again, call me at 069468. My name is Red. Red Johnson. So, this is the part where we exchange numbers? I'm starting to like this. Mine is 069747. Red Johnson, you said? <laughs> Here I thought you were a cop or a detective or some kind of snoop. Excuse me? 
Red Johnson? What is that, your stage name? Like Hugh Jackson, Long Schlong Silver, or Tom Bones? No? You an actor? You gotta be with a name like that. Are you on TV? It's just the name my mother gave me at birth. Really? How could she do that to a child? Toutes mes condoléances. About your accent. Where do you come from? From the Kingdom of the Frog. I'm French. Do you like it, chérie? Like it? I love it. Call me suspicious, but not one guy in this bar looks innocent. Snooping around in the lives of people who tell me nothing but lies is second nature to me. Finding out where this waitress lives, for example, was no small task. I'll spare you the ugly details. You'll have plenty of time to figure it out yourself if you want. For now, follow me.